Hello and welcome from one of the most beautiful cities in France. We're in Strasbourg, right on the border of France and Germany. Hello to those watching in over 180 countries around the world. This is the Glory Super Fight Series. We are inside the Reynas Sports Arena. We expect a packed house tonight. And when we're in France, good things seem to happen. Hello, my name is Todd Grisham. Next to the former Glory Welterweight Champion of the World, Joseph Valtellini. We're back. Well, coming up next, fighting out of the South American country of Suriname, it's Donovan Vise, Vise, who has only one professional loss, and he will face the Czech Republic's Wutai Pinyas, who's won nine straight fights and is looking to do damage here tonight. We next turn our attention to the middleweight ranks of glory and about scheduled for three three-minute rounds. This man arrives in Strasbourg on a nine-fight winning streak. Please welcome Mate Pinyas. Mate Pinyas, nicknamed Money Joe, but to me he looks like a middleweight version of Ivan Drago. What do you think? Yeah, he does. He, he's tall and he just got that big bone structure. And he fights well. Let me tell you, he's a tall southpaw, and he's young at only 22 years old. Got a Muay Thai base, but we saw him first at Glory 60 Leon with a, a second round TKO via Dr. Stoppages. It's that length, really hard to get in on him. So with that length, he throws a lot of good knees to the head. So it's going to be Visa really trying to close in on that distance. We asked him why he thought he should be the favorite tonight. Pinyaz said, Visa is too small for me, and I have better movement. Believe, believe that Vise will start strong, but fade. So he said the first round might not be mine, but rounds two and three will be the difference. He last appeared in Rotterdam in December and will be making his third glory appearance in Strasbourg. Please welcome Donovan Wiesa. <laughs> Donovan Visa coming off his first professional loss, Joe, and it seems like fighters can go one of two ways after they lose for yeah, the first time. Yeah, absolutely, but he seems to have already put it behind him, and he went right back to camp, right to training. So, I mean, he seems really sharp mentally, but he's really good with his power and his boxing style, so let's see how he adapts to that reach. And it wasn't exactly a dominant loss, it was a split decision. He thought maybe he won that, but said, listen, it's a motivating tool for me. I won't take things for granted anymore. And you'll see a new and improved Donovan Visa tonight against Pinya. And as soon as I saw this fight announced, I right away went on social media talking about how I was excited to call it. So here it is. And here is our tale of the tape. Middleweights, 187 pounds, 85 kilos. Both men, very young, 22 years old. But look at Pinyaz's reach advantage, Joe. 83 inches compared to 75. Yeah, that's crazy. And he also has the edge when it comes to professional experience, but the KO power going into Donovan Visa. This middleweight matchup once again scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Fighting out of the black corner. He is a Czech national champion and a European Muay Thai champion. As a professional, 21 wins with two losses, half of those wins coming by way of knockout. At six feet three and one half inches, 1.92 meters. He weighed in at 186 and one half pounds, 84.6 kilos. He fights tonight out of Brno, the Czech Republic. Please welcome Mane Mate Pena. His opponent made a successful debut in Amsterdam last year. His young professional record, 11 wins versus just one loss. Seven of those 11 wins coming by way of knockout. He stands six feet two inches tall, 1.88 meters, and he weighed in at 186.1 pounds, 84.4 kilograms. He fights tonight out of Suriname. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Donovan Wiesa. And the referee in charge of this bout, Tobias Gerald. Gentlemen.
gentlemen, you understand the rules you're fighting to? Respect my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. Touch glove if you like, and back to the corners. Well, we don't get the Judge. I must break you Judge. from Money Judge. Matei. Judge. Judge. But Donovan Visa, who accepted Judge. this fight on two weeks' notice. A big opportunity for him, as Ready. well as for Pinyas. Three three-minute rounds. Visa in the white gloves, Pinyas in the black. And he has the southpaw as well, which makes it even difficult for Wisa to get inside. Because he knows he's got to watch out for those knees as he crashes in. Again, Pinyas criticized Visa's conditioning. Feels that he fades in fights. Oh, a nice right hand for Visa. He'd like it not to get out of the first round. Seven wins coming by knockout for Visa. Lisa trying that nice overhand right versus the knee. Pena's good with his straight punches as well, being tall. So Lisa's going to have to get his head off center line and try to throw his punches. Just like that. Eight-inch reach advantage for the man from Czech Republic. Did you ever have the reach advantage, Joe? No, I think maybe only once in my career. <laughs> Welterweight seemed to be tall. Oh, nice switch knee there for Pinyas. I think it was only my glory debut where I may have had the reach advantage. Didn't seem to affect you much. No. Doesn't matter. Short or tall, you're going to get low kicked. I asked you about Visa losing his first fight, how he would react after you lost for the first time. What was the thought process for you? Well, it's, I don't ever want to feel this way again, so do everything in my power never to lose again. So it just encouraged me and motivated me to work harder, but Wiesa just landed a good right hand. Entertaining stuff here in round one between these two middleweights. Good combination there for Pinyas. Pinyas trained by Thomas Ron. Nice kick. As for Donovan Visa, he's trained by Ivan Hippolyte, who's also trained Mirko Krokop and Remy Bonyaski in the past. A very experienced coach. News this week, Mirko Krokop announcing his retirement, Joe, after I believe it was a stroke he suffered. So congratulations to him on a great career. We're glad he got that medical advice in time and is now Absolutely. healthy. One of the great kickboxers of all time. As well as MMA fighters. Pena is now showing his power. Lisa has found his way inside and landed some big punches. What a close round to, to score. Who do you give that one to? I think you got to go slight edge to Pena's. I feel he was controlling the range a little bit. Being a little bit busier. He did eat a lot of big shots from Wisa, but for the majority of the round, it was Pena's. Visa born and raised in Suriname in South America. That's in the northeast part of that continent. Won his debut at Glory 59. Says his best strike is the left uppercut. His opponent, Matej Pena, is from the Czech Republic. Trained by Glory Ventress Tomas Ron, who's Trying to motivate him right now in the corner. When his debut at Glory 60 Leon looking very impressive. That's why I'm excited to see him back. His favorite move is that knee to the head that we keep seeing. He's landed it. He's almost landed it a few times. We will soon see the official judges scores. What was a very close round one. And it comes down to damage, so a lot of those Wisa shots, you know, snap Pena's head back, which scored well. Whoa, and a straight right hand, I believe, and that is a one, knockdown two, for Donovan Visa. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Gloves up. Well, so much Ready. for the thought that Visa will fade in round two. He starts the round with a knockdown. Yeah, good power. And lost in that was the judges' scores. Four of the five judges gave round one to Visa. 
Nice strike there connecting for Pinyas. That was a real surprise, Joe. He knew his punches were doing damage, and he just keeps walking forward. So now Pinyas has to find a way back into this fight. He's down around and has been knocked down in the second. Another right hand connects. Panaz busier, but Visa more effective. Oh, good level changes now for the kicks for Wisa. That one was blocked, though, nicely by Pinyas. He's got a lot of body to cover up. Nearly six foot four inches tall. Eight inch reach advantage, but Visa has negated that thus far. And he just opened up with some big looping punches. Big wind-up uppercut. Pinyas seems to have found his, his wits about him now, and he needs to. The hands are down for Pinyas, and that's what the corner beast is screaming about. Go after him. And it looks like he's hurt. Covering up, backpedaling is Pinyas now. What a moment this would be for Donovan Visa. Good ring control from Wisa, too. It's not chasing, slowly stalking. Gets oh, inside. Kick. And he gets inside and works. Penas, deep breath, trying to bounce on his toes, find some energy back in those legs. Oh, oh and a body shot oh, sends Penas down one, for the second two, time. Three. I don't four, know if he's getting up from this five, one. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine. He will not get up, and Donovan Visa, Suriname's finest, with his 12th win, his 8th knockout, and he bounces back from the first loss of his career. Yep, and obviously that question you ask, how does he go from that? He looked great, especially against a tricky, tall fighter like Penas. Showed good composure, good ring control, and got himself a finish. Let's take a look at these two knockdowns. We start with the first, Joe. Yeah, you can see, very patient. Walked in, landed a nice right hand. You can see every time that Peñas opened up, his hands slightly left his head, and Wiesa's good timing with that straight right. And the second one, that straight right was landing to the head, and that's where Wiesa did a good job at changing levels, and boom, straight right to the body. You can see right away the look on Peña's face that he wasn't going to get up from that one. Right on the solar plexus. So two-thirds of Donovan Visa's wins have come by knockout. He is a man to be feared in the middleweight division. Just ask Mute Pinyas. We'll make it official when we return to the Glory Super Fight Series from France. We are back here in Strasbourg, Germany, and we're about to make it official. An outstanding performance by Donovan Visa. Ladies and gentlemen, you watched it as it happened. This bout ends with an official time of 2 minutes, 49 seconds of the second round by technical knockout. For your winner, Donovan Wiesa. All right, we're here with your winner, Donovan Wiesa. Coming off your first professional loss, you've got to be happy with your finish. Okay, when you see the uh, première uh, victoire, tu dois être très content. Comment tu te sens? Oh uh, yes, uh, <laughs> how do I say it? Uh, it was a great victory. He's a strong opponent. He was very tall, so uh, to come out on the inside is a little bit difficult. But it worked. I had a, with a body punch, and he lay down. You had to deal with his southpaw and his reach. Was hitting the body one of your strategies? Uh, Est-ce que donner des coups au corps c'était une partie de stratégie? Um, yes, it was. Of course, it was one of the strategies. Um, he's very tall, so the head is uh, way up there, and the body is uh, on my uh, length. So, yeah, the body was a good, good opportunity. Bien sûr, c'était une partie du stratégie. Il est très grand, donc uh, pour moi, aller au corps, c'était évident que je devrais le faire, et c'est ce que je fais. Let's take a look at your finish here on the big screen. Let's take a look at your work. 
Regardons sur l'écran ce que tu as fait. Yes, yeah, so the first one was a straight punch. He got me with a leg kick, so I went over to the top. And the second one was a body punch, so we're waiting for that. <laughs> Donc, premier, c'était un coup direct, et deuxième, c'était un, un coup de corps. What would you like next? Uh, Qu'est-ce que tu voudras prochainement? Uh, what I would like next is uh, go back to the gym, work on uh, things that didn't work today, and come back stronger for the next glory fight. Prochainement, il faut retourner au gym, il faut faire un euh, entraînement, continuer et retourner euh, dans le ring euh, et être encore me meilleur. All right, congratulations, your winner, Donovan Wisa. Donovan Wisa, two knockdowns, and he picks up his eighth win by KO. 12 victories.